Welcome back to Simon Says Farms, and yes, Kevin crashed into the barn. Okay, so Uncle Kevin's doing a lot of the work around here. He's way down there, right now in the tractor, grabbing another scoop of rocks. Because he's helping right down there behind the barn, between the poop pile and the rabbit tree, that's a path how we get to the boys. And that path was really bad, and it was really, um, really rough and, and it was slanty and it was hard to walk on especially for me but for Liz and any of the driveway breeding goats driveway breeding means we have the buck and you have the doe and the doe comes over here and has a good time with our buck and then goes home and is pregnant and 150 days later has a baby and doesn't have to live with this man it's just a one night stand that's what happens with the driveway breeding so that that walkway was really rough so Kevin's building a road he's bringing all the Crushed stone, and we carry crushed stone all the time. I highly recommend if you own a farm, crushed stone, like a three quarter inch or maybe even a little bigger, and like dirt, some kind of dirt, it's a sand. We use it in our ducks. What the hell are they doing? Okay, hang on. Look at all those duck feathers. So, because I can't lift anything, I'm not allowed to, Kevin's kind of doing it all. All that big stuff. Now, mom and Chai Chai. And myself just got back from the vet because she had her appointment and she's doing so good and she weighs like a little over 11 pounds and I'm making a one take wonder so I'm not going to edit in any of that chai chai stuff. She might post it later or we might, oh he's putting in another bucket load right there. There it goes. Oh look at how pretty. And he's going to level it out. That way when it snows, say if it snows in December or January or something that we, or I, I mean, we, the team here, whether it's Tyler or Mom or Jake or Jace or whoever, they can clean up some snow around here easily because that was real, real bad. And it would have been way too hard to clean the way it was. It just, it's good maintenance is what that is. So now the other thing going on, which you might have heard of, is that um, we're building a new hay feed. So this is the start of the metal wire box hay feeders that we put in our barn called House of Pie, which is this barn way over there. See that one way out there? That one's House of Pie. This one's Cassie's Castle. House of Pie has these metal feeders and we're noticing way less hay waste with the House of Pie metal feeders than we are with the wood ones that are in Cassie's Castle, mainly because of the height. These are bigger, and the goats can't go over the top and eat. Or if they can, they can't take too much. They do stick their heads through the holes, and they go in, their heads go through, and they eat, and they come back out. But they don't get stuck because these holes are very big. So we're working on building two more of these. Not we. Kevin is working on building two more of these for us to eventually swap out the wood feeders in the barn and put in these. This, you see here, see that great? That is Mr. Rob. He is working on a dog fence for us in the in the house so we can put it up between basically half the house so to keep the Great Dane on one side and the French Bulldogs on the other and they can roam kind of freely but not freely, sort of. So that's those projects. That's that's that part. So now, yes, Kevin hit the barn. It happens. He put a big slice in the barn. Um, in one of the white panels of the barn. Where'd the barn go? Where is it? In this picture. Picture. So it was like right about there, but all the way on the other side. Actually, it's right about, yeah, somewhere around there, but all the way on the other side. He's fired. Just kidding. He's not fired. It'll literally cost like $8 to fix. It's like a two foot by two foot square piece of that white metal. The problem is I gotta get it. And where am I gonna get it from? I gotta order it. That kind of stuff. So I might be able to find a sheet in the roof of the garage. I think we might have put in an extra piece up there. We do have a section down back where we put a lot of our scrap wood and scrap metal that's not like garbage, but it's like maybe someday I can use this and this might be that maybe someday. So we don't know. We don't know what we're gonna do with that. We did get the kids and Uncle Kevin to clean the garage a little bit. Look at that. It's getting cleaner.
if you noticed, you might have saw some kitchen cabinets in there. Those were the ones that used to be in our kitchen, but they're like the extra ones we bought for storage. And we noticed we were just storing a bunch of junk, stuff we didn't need. So we turned it into, he's going real, real fast. We turned it into a rolling toolbox for Tyler and he actually kind of loves it. So he's building out this toolbox. Oh, I think he's putting it away. Hey, don't hit that truck. That I can't fix. I hope you heard that one. I don't think he heard me. I think he acted like he didn't. Yeah, he might have. So yeah, those, there they are, right there. Those two little, like, we're turning it into a rolling toolbox for Tyler. He loves it. He's going to fill it with all his tools. It rolls around. Very DIY. And it was just stuff that was in our kitchen uh, in the way. And he's super excited about it for Christmas. He's going to, like, shove it with all his tools and whatever. He wants to buy everything in freaking Home Depot and Lowe's because he's that excited. Does it not? Oh, because we got moved. Or... Yeah. Yep, Jace's dirt bike's now on the way because we cleaned out Bay 3. So that's it. That's the kind of stuff going on around here on the farm. I'm still stuck on these things, not doing much. And uh, I think it's time to start wrapping some Christmas presents. i got to get set up for that. we got a couple of them. Done. Oh, by the way, I don't know who it was, but Mom's really excited. One of you guys sent pretzels, and those were pretty darn good. So I'm just giving you, you know, shout out to the pretzel, to the pretzel shipper, shopper person. And we're still thinking very high level of this whole home to rent, home, cottage, apartment, rental option for those of you that want to spend some time out here. Snuggling goats would like more of a home kind of feel when you're staying and less of a uh, hotel. We're still working on it. We've got some ideas, more information to come in the coming weeks. So that's it. That's all I got to say. Thank goodness Kevin didn't hit the truck and he only hit the barn. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> if I turn the camera around, he's probably flipping us off. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to let. Mentally, he totally is. Yep. He didn't want us to get demonetized for the middle finger. Yep. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys again tomorrow.